YouTube friends. This week I am highlighting the beautiful colors of Africa, red, black, and green. This was first introduced by Marcus Garvey in 1920 and have come to represent Pan-Africanism and are shown on the Pan-African flag and are being shown in home decor. The first home decor item that I am making is a very colorful picture frame. The supplies needed include a colorful bag from Michaels, a Dollar Tree picture frame, reptile glue, and scissors. This is a very simple and easy project, but it turned out to be beautiful. I purchased a picture frame from Dollar Tree to display my family's picture. It had the words, best dad in the world. Now I chose this particular frame because it fit the picture that I wanted to put in it. Now I could have painted the frame black, but the paper bag was thick enough to cover the words and the colors on the frame. So I took my scissors and I cut the paper to size, leaving a little bit to fold over the frame so that the sides and all of it would look cohesive. I used reptile glue because it goes over the frame smoothly and it stays tacky for a bit so the paper could be adjusted to the frame. Now the ends were tucked in like I was wrapping a package and this was done to give it a nice smooth appearance. After it was all glued to the surface of the frame, I cut an opening in the middle and then made a slit to each corner. I cut the excess paper away and folded it in on all four sides and then glued it. Because some of the white was showing in the corners, I had to piece some of the paper to cover the white part. And then I tried to use the same colors so that it would give a nice clean look. Now, once the frame was covered, I cleaned the glass and put it back in the frame and put my family's picture in there and displayed it in the home. And wow, what a difference paper can make. Continuing with the red, green, and black theme, I designed this tablescape to reflect Black History Month. It is simple with a twist. I found a black, green, and black tablecloth with a bit of yellow and orange at Michael's for $1.99. I placed it on my table and started to put things together. I placed a matte black charger against a colorful tablecloth and used a green cloth napkin to wrap around the charger. Next, I placed a shiny plate on top of the green napkin. Then, the black silverware next to the plate and added a slate coaster and smoky stemware. I love the black against the very colorful tablecloth. And the name plates are black chalkboard, so you can write the guest's name or you can use your cricket. The centerpiece is a brown branch with furry green balls on the tips placed in a black matte base. The base was inserted in a square metal candle holder. The candles are battery operated due to being close to the branch and we don't want a fire hazard. I decided to make a conversation starter by making a favor with a twist. I found paper in the same print as the tablecloth and made a favor. This is from a Posh Paper Lady tutorial. I put some candy inside and a name on a piece of paper. The name is of an African-American individual who may have invented something or made a significant contribution to science, health or engineering, mathematics, etc. The person should try to determine what that individual contributed and let the other people know the answer. So basically, it is a win-win situation because everyone learns.
If you have liked what you have seen, please comment, like, save, and subscribe. I appreciate your comments and let me know if you would like to see a specific craft. I would like to thank all of my subscribers and remember, a single act of kindness throws out roots in all directions and the roots spring up and make new trees. Bye-bye.